Hello guys, hope you all are doing good. So today's video topic is how to upgrade from Windows 7 to Windows 10 without losing any data, without losing any software. So this is a complete video and in this video I will clear all the doubts. So without wasting your time, let's start the process. So in this process, all the data you have in your desktop will remain safe and if you have another partition, uh, like uh, I have another partition, this E drive. So if you have another partition, all the data in your other partition will also remain safe. So there is no data loss in this process. All the files, all the documents, all the images you have in your system will remain safe. The next thing is all the software you have in your system will also remain safe. Uh, I will show you the software I have in my system. So these are the few softwares I have in my laptop in my system. So all the softwares you have in your system will also remain safe. So there will be no data loss. There will be no software loss in this process. One important thing before we start that make sure you have at least 15 to 20 GB of free space in your C drive. In my laptop, I have 78 GB of free space that is more than enough. But make sure you have at least 15 to 20 GB of free space. Uh, this is important. Now let's start the process. Open the browser and then type Windows 10. And you will see the official website of Microsoft. Click on this option. So this is the official website of Microsoft. Scroll down and you will see this option create windows 10 installation media click on this option download tool now click on it and you will see the downloading process has been started media creation tool process completed now open the download folder so this is a software media creation tool now right click on the software then click on this properties option now you will see the option of unblock unblock this software click on this option to unblock it then click on apply then click on ok now again right click on media creation tool then click on this option run as administrator now wait for 10 to 15 seconds this will analyze your system and run the media creation tool you have to wait for around uh, uh, 10 to 15 seconds if you are getting this kind of error window while running a media creation tool in this video i will also show you how to fix this error as well so first cut this error click on cross now the solution is uh, also available on a microsoft official website i will show you the article of microsoft so this is the article of microsoft and here you can see these are the two protocols which are by default disabled in Windows 7. That's why you are getting that kind of media creation tool error. To fix this issue, uh, I will show you what you have to do is scroll down and here you will see the method one is update your Windows operating system. So you have to update your Windows 7. This is your method one. You can also download updates from Microsoft official website as well. And one pre request is that make sure you are using service pack 1 of windows 7 so if you don't have a windows 7 service pack 1 you can download it from this url okay now scroll down and the the most important thing is uh, you have to download this easy fix software from microsoft official website and install that software so this software will enable both the protocols these are the two protocols which i am talking about so this software will enable both the protocols so click on the software easy fix this is a software easy fix click on this option click here to download download has been done now microsoft easy fix so open the download folder now double click on the software click on run i agree click on next so this will enable both the protocols and fix uh, the media creation tool error process has been done now click on close that's it now again right click on media creation tool then click on run as administrator now wait for 10 to 15 seconds and you can see 
the issue has been resolved so media creation uh, error has been fixed now but if you are still getting the same issue uh, on your media creation tool i already created a dedicated video about how to fix media creation tool error i will put that video link in the description box so you can check that video as well to fix media creation tool errors now move on to the topic how to upgrade from windows 7 to windows 10 so this is the media creation tool wait for few seconds this process will take time now click on this accept option this is a lengthy process so you have to be patient now you will get these two options what do you want to do there are two options upgrade this pc now and create an installation media so if you want to download windows 10 or you, if you want to create a windows 10 installation media you can go for the second option i will show you create installation media click on next and you can also change the language click on next and now if you want to create a windows 10 installation media you can go for the first option use a flash drive and if you want to download windows 10 iso image go for the second option iso file but for now we are going to just upgrade from windows 7 to windows 10 so we will go for the first option upgrade this pc now click on next and you can see the downloading process has been started and this will take some time around 15 to 20 minutes so i will fast forward this video now you will see this window click on accept now system is checking for updates if there are any few updates are available i will fast forward this video because this will take time now you will see this window ready to install install windows 10 pro and the second option is important keep personal files and app make sure that this option is selected so if this option is selected in that case your personal data your personal files and your all the softwares will remain safe but if there is something else you can change it by clicking on this option change what to keep and there are three options keep personal files and app keep personal files only or nothing so go for the first one keep personal files and app then click on next I recheck both the options then click on stall and you can see the installing process has been started and it will take around half an hour to complete and so I will fast forward this video So the upgrading process has been completed as you can see all my data in my desktop are remain safe there is no data loss at all i will show you the other partition as well so as you can see this is my other partition and all the data are remain safe so there is no data loss at all i will show you the softwares i have So as you can see all the softwares are remain safe so there is no data loss there is no software loss in this process this is all for the video thank you